Well, into the second half of the election, the polls of yesterday suggest the coalition's in trouble. Reality has to be faced. It's unfashionable to note that when Tony Abbott became leader of the opposition, things changed from a deeply divided party, having gone through Brendan Nelson and then Malcolm Turnbull, Tony Abbott united the party in opposition to the carbon tax. Remember, he ran so hard against Kevin Rudd that the Labor leader was removed by his own side. Then came Julia Gillard. And hardly a commentator thought that the Abbott coalition had a chance in 2010. It was a draw, reducing the Gillard government to minority status. Tony Abbott maintained the unity of his party and ran hard into the 2013 election. His victory at that election was a historic landslide. In 2010 and 2013, Tony Abbott won 25 seats from Labor. Only four men in the history of conservative politics since World War II have taken the coalition from opposition to government at an election. Robert Menzies, Malcolm Fraser, John Howard and Tony Abbott. Tony Abbott won the day, proving himself one of the most formidable enemies of the far left in Australia. And that is why I suppose he's been attacked and demonised for years. Consider what Tony Abbott said when he was elected to the federal parliament and consider where we are today, minus Abbott. He said, I stand for active government, not big government. I stand for government which gets off people's backs, not government which opts out of the future because it cannot face hard decisions. He said, I stand for government which backs Australia's families with real policies and not just platitudes. Unquote. Well, given that the polls suggest that the party he led to a landslide victory in 2013 is now under siege. I thought it timely to speak to him. Tony Abbott, thank you for your time. Why do you think three weeks out the polls are 53-47 to Labor? Alan, it's not easy to govern in these times given the economic and the strategic challenges that we face. And while, as the Prime Minister himself uh, has accepted, uh, all governments, including his, make mistakes. I'm still convinced that by far the best option for Australia right now is the coalition under Scott Morrison. And I probably should declare at the outset of this discussion that I do want the Morrison government to win. I will be voting Liberal. And whatever dissatisfaction people might sometimes have with the current government, I would, I would, I would want them to remember uh, that government spending will always be lower. Uh, taxes will always be less, regulation will always be less burdensome, political correctness will always be less rampant, and national security will always be taken more seriously under the coalition than under Labor. Nonetheless, there are people who would say on all of those issues that the Liberal Party has lost its way. For example, uh, there was massive spending in the budget. There's a lot of spending promises now at a time when inflation is on the march. Has the Liberal Party of Menzies and, and Abbott and Howard lost its way? I think that the government has been dealing with particularly difficult circumstances. The pandemic uh, was uh, an absolutely unprecedented and largely uh, previously unanticipated event. And as uh, even John Howard said at the start of the pandemic, you've got to throw the rule book out the window. Well, um, I'm not so sure that you can ever really throw the rule book out the window, but certainly there was a, a lot of pressure on the government to throw the rule, back, rule book out the window. Um, let's not forget that the government had, uh, without any help from the opposition, without any help uh, from the Senate, gradually got us back to a position where we were almost in surplus uh, then, of course, when the pandemic hit, you had uh, panicky state governments uh, closing down businesses, uh, ordering people to stay at home, uh, putting the economy into hibernation. The government had to do something uh, to stop uh, um, really an economic wasteland and they had to spend. Now, you can argue about uh, how much and how long, but they certainly had to spend and so I think you've got to give the government a bit of leeway on the fiscal front, but obviously uh, the pandemic is now effectively behind us. Uh, the laws of economics need to be respected. Uh, we do have to get spending under control. Uh, the quicker, the better. 
uh, we do have to ensure that really outside of national security and economic infrastructure, any additional spending, any new spending uh, is, uh, is funded uh, from savings with existing spending. Let, that me, just, was the rule let me just take you the problem. The, 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 the rule, and that needs to be the rule going forward.